with Hawaii's forecast, McKenna Maduli. Aloha and good morning everyone. We can expect a lot less active weather than we saw yesterday and that's thanks to that disturbance that happened yesterday along with daytime heating and an area of moisture. It has moved to the north of us. So right now we do have breezy trade winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's due to a high pressure system that's far north of the state. Enjoy them while you can because as we approach the holiday weekend we are going to start to see very muggy hazy conditions. So we lose the winds completely by Saturday. Now a lot of that moisture again has moved to the north of Kauai cleared out a bit, but the more instability is happening in that area, and drier, more stable air mass is now making its way over from Hilo, the soundings from this morning. So as we approach the weekend, we'll have lots of sunshine, but again, we lose those trade winds, but a more stable atmosphere to look forward to. I would keep a jacket and uh, umbrella handy, though, today, though, just with the possibility of some daytime heating uh, for afternoon showers. Now, we do have our eye on a system over in the East Pacific, still very far from us. It's over near Manzanillo, Mexico. This is uh, 14, tropical cyclone 14. Uh, it's going to uh, have some showers and thunderstorms in that area, not close to us, but again, a reminder everyone, we're three months uh, still in hurricane season, so go ahead and be prepared for two weeks. We have a great list for you up at khon2.com of how you can be prepared. Boaters, if you head out, small craft advisory for the typically choppy areas between Maui County and the Big Island. Be careful if you do head out. So today, partly sunny skies again. We have trade wind weather basically through Thursday, and then that's when we start to see the hazy, humid conditions as we prepare for the holiday weekend. There's a look at your weather. I'm going to send it out to Surf News Network's Gary Q. <clears throat> good morning, Gary. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, McKenna. And good morning. It's it flat for the North Shore. Good for diving, that is, and paddling. And out there at Makaha, it's, well, it's a foot. It doesn't really take a southeast swell very well. But Kaisers, Kiwalos, Quartz, uh, all of that really takes it well. Queens, canoes, all one to two. And then off and on, this little chest tire wave rolling through really nice. Diamond is solid, three feet. When the sets come, be patient. Sandy Beach came in two to three plus. Plenty power there. Careful of your spine. Makapu'u, one to two. And again, trades filling in 10 to 20 with some higher gusts. So, yeah, those small craft advisories for channel waters near Maui and the Big Island. And we had that low tide pre dawn. It'll push to a big high tide at noon. Sun is going to set a minute earlier at 12 minutes before 7. New South Swell comes up. Should be four feet by tomorrow afternoon. Five feet solid for Friday and Saturday. Great news for the Visla Defend Point Panic Experience. This is bodyboarding and handboarding at its best with a perfect amphitheater, and they're going to have the best south swell we've seen in months. So that's pretty cool. That's the update. It is compliments of Green Tea Hawaii, the all three new ginger flavors, mint, mango, and plum. Mm, good. GreenTeaHawaii.com. All right, McKenna, back to you. <laughs> mm, good. Thank you so much, Gary. Have a beautiful Wednesday. All right.